Hello everyone. So today I will discuss about Spring Boot auto configurations. So as we know, whenever we are creating any projects in Spring Boot, then uh, it will actually do a lot of things for us. Means we don't need to do any things like uh, any dependencies, whatever we need to add that we can like add those dependencies and the rest of the things automatically handled by the Spring Boot. Right. Suppose if we take one example, suppose if we are using any database uh, and like a, for example H2 database maybe or maybe some other database. So only what we need to do only we need to like uh, define the driver and the class um, class name dialect and all those things we need to kind of means uh, define in the properties file. But we don't need to write any any other things. Right. So actually those all those things will be handled uh, automatically by this. Uh, uh, Spring Boot. So how like uh, Spring Boot automatically handle those things? That means behind the scene is something that actually handle those things, right? So obviously there is something that uh, like uh, there is a Spring Boot provides something. Spring Boot auto configure things is there. So Spring Boot actually auto configuration automatically configure Spring applications. So it's actually picked up those dependencies from the like whatever dependencies we have given and from the class path it's actually picked those things and uh, accordingly it will uh, uh, it will actually this auto configuration mechanism actually ensure to create all those things for us. And this is actually one of the most powerful features of the Spring Boot and uh, all these things actually happened uh, uh, like silently we don't need to do anything right in the background it will um, think all the things. Now like how can we understand like uh, in the background what is happening so for that like if we are going to start suppose uh, for that what we need to do we need to create one spring boot application so how can we create these applications spring boot so it's a very easy things so like from the spring boot initializer we can easily like create the spring boot applications and from there also there is a they are providing the options to choose the dependencies so from there we can also choose the dependencies and also you can choose like what kind of project you need like it's a Marvin or Gradle. So for me, I have choose a Gradle one and also for this I have added like this uh, data JPA dependencies, starter web dependencies, Lombok, Spring Boot Dev Tools, H2 databases. So these are actually I have provided. So it's uh, actually it will automatically taken care of all those things. I don't need to mention it. It will automatically handle by like uh, they will automatically load all the things for me. So let's run this one. If we run this one, then it's printed something like uh, JPA repositories that is enabled, embedded Tomcat, then like web application context, H2 console. So all these things actually they are ready for us. Now, if we want to uh, like uh, need more details, so how can we uh, like do this? So like for that we need to run this as a debug mode so like in debug means we need to enable the debug so for this we need to write debug is equal to true so if we do so then it will print more logs in the lo means in the console let's see yes so this is actually call like this is actually say auto configurations report actually so whenever means it means it's actually it is by default it's not enabled so when we will enable the debug then actually in the, as a debug log it will enable it will print this kind of report so what it is saying actually it will actually cover all the things like uh, uh, like who, what are the match dependencies what are the not match what is exclusion so these things are like uh, AOP kind of things all like data source that already like match as I am providing the H2 databases so that's why it's like uh, uh, means taken all these things as a match similar kind of thing dev tools like you can see dev tools also I have match in the build uh, means uh, build.gradle so that's why it is also like taken care here next like uh, mvc this also match these are default i wanted jpa configurations that also i am i have used so that's why those are match jackson and uh, like uh, so here the one main point is that like there is all where the we are see that's on class condition on bean condition so basically all the things happened there are some conditional so actually it is providing uh, like uh, based on the conditions like if there is something then only this is load for example if we take one example uh, if we uh, check the internal implementation of the Jackson one let me check if it is here Jackson yeah 
yes so if we check this junction one so here what it is saying uh, this class found required means if this object mapper is there so like if this particular class is in the class path then actually it will load this kind of configuration so there are certain condition which is based on the condition means all of these are actually based on the conditions like if this particular match then it will load something like this so this is actually behind the scenes this auto configuration actually do and it is taken all the things and uh, so uh, i will also explain means before going to uh, the detail of this one let's take one example like how this conditional annotation is work so as we can see in the most of the places is uh, this conditional annotation is very frequently used so let's uh, check like how it is like uh, behaving actually so for that what we can do we can like we can create our uh, means we can take one uh, custom uh, custom example so that like uh, i can explain it will be very easy let's uh, say uh, for the briefly introductions of the example like if we are like trying to get uh, means based on the os os type uh, we need to display something so if this is the situation then uh, we need to write something uh, based on the os type right so for that what we need to do let's create one uh, package first let's create one package for example it's a service and here initially we need to create one interface for example os type okay so here actually we need to create one method get os type okay next we need to create actually uh, another class which will implement this one for example it's a uh, maybe windows os windows os and it will be implement os type okay we need to implement this one and from here it should return like uh, it's a uh, windows os okay next uh, we can create uh, another class like uh, linux for example linux os it is means we need to also implement here this os type okay so after implementing we need to implement this one and from here we need to return as a linux okay so this is done now next what we need to do we need to create the one conditional kind of class which will based on this we can decide so for that we need to create one class so let's say the class name is windows os condition windows os condition and uh, it will actually implement the condition in conditional in interface actually implements condition interface so after implementing we need to implement this method like this match so here actually we need to write conditions so for example we need to get the first os type so for that we need to get from uh, system dot system dot uh, like property system dot get property and here we need to pass the key like uh, os dot name so using this we can get the os name next we need to check with uh, for example in my case it's a windows 10 or 11 or maybe instead of that it should start with windows okay next we need to do some replica for the linux OS also 
Linux OS conditions. So here actually it should be Linux. Okay. So this is this condition is done. Next we need to like uh, write this uh, uh, like batch where actually we need to um, like uh, one class actually we need to write where we can group means add those uh, means we need to create bin for those actually so configurations and we need to create this to bin as conditional so like public void linux os and here actually we need to means we need to annotate it as a bin and next we need to pass conditional annotations and here actually we need to pass this particular class what where we have created like this class okay and from here we need to return new linux os okay so here we need to also add this return type this one next again we need to create another bin like windows OS windows OS and here also we need to like uh, instead of linux we need to windows OS and also we need to change the return type and it would be also a windows OS condition okay so the bin creation is done and obviously we need to annotate this particular class as configurations else the bin will be not created so in this class whatever we did like we have uh, created these two bin and this bin particularly load based on the conditions like if it based on the actually os if it is a windows then this particular bin should load if it is linux then this should be load now for checking this one what how can we check this one let's uh, like uh, create another class like it's a controller so for example it's a demo controller for example and here we need to create one like we need to call this particular thing so it's a rest controller and we need to also provide this request mapping and here we need to provide the path next we need to create another method actually so public void get os type okay so here what we can do we need to auto add this os type auto add private os type os type okay so using this os type what we need to do we need to get os type and we need to return okay so here also we need to change this return to string and here we need to annotate this as a gate mapping okay and here we need to provide the path like api and then get os type okay okay so this is done now let's run this one once it is run then it will be load in this uh, like uh, 8080 port it already started t slash api slash get os type okay it's showing linux okay but it should not right let's check what uh, happened actually okay so here actually i have checked with this linux but uh, what about this linux condition okay so this is actually like problematic it should be linux and uh, windows should be start with windows okay okay now it's fine right let's check this one yes so this is a windows OS. 
okay so this is the way like uh, that uh, in this way like we can use this uh, condition conditional annotations for like it can be used in the component in the bin anywhere that we can use there are certain another like means there are lot of things that we can do using the conditions so this is the like very useful uh, annotations that actually we can uh, use uh, so with that actually we can do all those things now let's if we come into the spring boot auto configuration so for enabling this auto configuration so we need to use the enable auto configuration annotations but basically nowadays uh, like as you can see in the main applications so here actually you can see that we are using this spring boot uh, applications but it is a uh, actually if we over there it is a uh, like combination of this uh, enable auto configuration is already are and the component is scan the spring boot configuration so this particular is being annotation actually combinations of these three so that's why we don't need to means manually mention the this uh, enable auto configurations uh, if we are uh, like uh, use this one then automatically it will taken care so this is the thing but now the thing is that like if uh, uh, if we want to like uh, disable some auto auto configuration then how we can do that so for that it's provide one exclude exclude parameter here something like this and here we need to like uh, exclude the class name so like for example if we want to data source for example data source auto configurations dot class so it will what it will do it will exclude this uh, means it will not uh, not bring us for this so it will exclude those things so let's see like if we did so then we will not able to see the details in this here so let's search this one data source exclusions as you can see in the last it's a path of the exclusion right so that we have exclude manually so that is also coming in this auto summary so this is the like one of the way that uh, we can exclude uh, particular class from the dependency so it's way also like we can disable those things and uh, as you can also know like uh, means i as i explained we can easily like uh, uh, means we just don't need to manually write anything it will take automatically taken care by the like spring boot auto configure we just need to mention those uh, like uh, jar files in the gradle or maven whatever the file it is so based on that we can easily do so this is about this uh, uh, spring boot auto configuration and the conditional annotations if you guys have anything please uh, uh, do comment so that i can uh, answer those uh, so see you in the next videos thanks for watching bye bye